Hey everyone, so today I'll be doing a review on a cosmetic brush cleaning system from Danielle Cosmetics. I actually got it from Marshalls for only $15, so it was technically a steal. But I've been using a pink silicone glove for almost three years already, and I don't really like manually brushing the brushes on it. It gets a little messy also. It's a little annoying having to do it constantly and drying it overnight so I was hoping that maybe getting this product will hopefully speed up the process a little more. So right here I have all my dirty brushes, <laughs> my large facial brush, angle, and a bunch of my blush and eyeshadow brushes so you can see they're really dirty and I just used them so I'm hopefully thinking that if I clean them today I'll be able to wear some makeup today because as you can see I'm not wearing any makeup right now so I already unboxed the entire set so this is what it comes with it comes with a plastic bowl the silicone rubber thingy to prevent the water from splashing or coming out of the bowl. Comes with a drill looking thing and a spindle. And mostly, most cosmetic brush cleaners I've seen online, they come with like a variety of silicone, silicone thingies. But this one only came with four. And it's supposed to be like, you know, universally for any brush. So there's a small one, and then there's like the big one, and then two little small ones. And it also comes with a what this? It comes with a collar stand. Oh, okay, it's called silicone collars. Okay, cool. So what you're going to want to do first is fill up the bowl with water. So fill it up with clean water and then I'm going to be using my Sephora Detox Deep Cleaning Brush Shampoo. So after putting the water in my bowl, I'm going to be using the shampoo and pumping it a few times. So now for the fun part, I'm going to get my BH Cosmetics Blush Brush. I'm going to be using the silicone collar so it doesn't exactly fit so let's do this so it's not going to fit all the brushes some of the silicone collars are too big for the handle or they're too small so some of them you're gonna have to put the effort to try to do it yourself This is fine. Alright. I kind of got it. <laughs> Alright, so here's the little spindle and the little brush holding device. That's what it's called. Okay. Alright, so as you see, there's a little triangle. I don't know if you're able to see it, but then this is a little triangle shape, so you're going to have to insert it. And then let's get started with the demonstration. So I'm going to be demonstrating cleaning each brush in a different size in the water and then I'm going to replace the water with a second round of clean water so that we can wipe off any excess and then I'm going to dry it right after.
Okay, so I finished cleaning all of my brushes and this is what the water turned out to look like. It's all really murky and gross. And yeah. And then these are all my brushes so far. So right now they all still have soap in them. So I'm going to do that second round of clean water and then I'm going to dry them up right after. So I now have my clean water and I'm going to be cleaning my brushes. So I just cleaned one of my denser brushes, which is my Total Face Brush by ELF. And it's really dense, but after cleaning it with clean water and then drying it, the way you can dry it is that you take the machine, well, this, and after you dip it in the water and then you swirl it around a few times, you lift it up a little, but not past the silicone rubber so where this little area is of just air the entire brush can just spin around above the water and then it will dry up itself but you could also do this just try not to get it anywhere okay so I just finished cleaning all my brushes if not most So as you can see, they're actually really dry, especially the denser brushes. So earlier it was, you know, really dirty and haven't washed it in a few days. And particularly this one, my blush brush, unfortunately I wasn't able to dry it all the way. And so here's my honest review about the cleaning system. I personally think that, um, you should definitely invest into it. I believe any makeup artist should invest into it so that they can clean between clients. And I think it's a better alternative to the glove that I've been using. I've been using a pink glove, pink silicone glove for quite some time and it, had, it has ridges that help clean the makeup from the brushes. But I'd rather not bend down on my back over the sink and just constantly cleaning all the brushes and then waiting for them to dry overnight. I think that this is a great investment, but I don't think, the one thing I didn't like about this product is the lack of silicone collars in various sizes because it only comes in four. And the other, the other products, similar products that I would see online, they come with various sizes. And I do understand that not all brushes have the same handles. Some have intricate handles, especially like the oval brushes. So I wouldn't clean my oval brush with this one because it definitely, its handle wouldn't really fit into this. But this one, this particular one, uh, I could have sworn they had like the size number, but I guess not. This one, I don't have any brush that fits this, but only these three. But even then, some of my thinner brushes are just wobbling inside the smallest silicone collar that I have that came in this set. So I believe it was a great investment, don't get me wrong, but I feel like with my smaller brushes, I have to like just kind of watch it carefully kind of hold on to the handle because it might fly or something like that because it's just so loose that I can't kind of rely on um, the silicone collar. So I don't think it, that it's a permanent replacement simply because everybody either has beauty blenders or people use 
um, you know, oval brushes. Some oval brushes just have weird handles and some brushes, you know, just come in various handles, like different sizes and different shapes. So you just have to make sure that your brushes can probably fit into one of these silicone collars. I believe I still need my glove just simply for the oval brush. But if you're on the go or if you didn't clean your brushes the same day, I highly, highly, highly recommend that you do get this because the moment that you get it, you can clean your brush with your shampoo and then you can dry it just on the spot and then everything's ready for you. But you just have to have the right brushes that are meant for the silicone collars. So even though this was a short video, I really hope you liked it and I highly, again, recommend that you do invest into this if you want to clean your brushes right away, but also there are limits so you won't be able to clean all your brushes or your beauty blender. So if you like this video, like and subscribe and comment below and if you have any questions, let me know and I'll be happy to answer them.